Well, time to take on that gym leader. Also, I checked that phone number to see if it was a scam. I was right. It was a scam number. They called me twice. Those assholes, I knew I was right not answering their friggin' calls. Yo, champion making! Wh whoops, take a look around you. The trainers all look like the leader, Janine. Which of them is the real Janine? I don't know. Oh my god, they do all look like Janine. What the hell, man? Fooled you! Ha ha ha! Damn it! So I gotta play this game in here too. It's not just the one bitch of the Pokemon Center. Well, this is an annoying fad you guys have. Anyway, welcome back everybody to more Let's Play Pokemon Gold version. This is your host, the MJ4106. And it's time to take down the Fusion City Gym. And well, the leader here is the daughter of the, an Elite Four member, so I'm pretty sure she'd be pretty good. She must have learned all her dad's tricks. I would think, anyway. And well... Hey. While guys are only... While this person's only got one evolution, one Pokemon chain, at least they have poison types to this gym. Like, the gyms in the last game made, like, no sense sometimes. It's like, oh, right, let me go to the poison type gym. By the way, there's a lot of psychic Pokemon in here. Wait, what? Hey, what was the electric type gym? Oh, hey, by the way, there's a lot of, uh, not electric types. I don't know. It was weird last game. It wasn't until the. <sighs> and the freaking psychic type gym had ghost Pokemon! Which also made no sense! Oh, I lost. You're not weak. No shit. Well, was my disguise perfect? It's all really annoying how all of you are trying to be dressed like the gym leader. It's actually a giant pain. I'm Janine! How did you know I was real? Let's battle! How did you know I was real? What, is Janine just a whole fake identity you guys all created like Santa Claus? I, I mean, Santa Claus is real. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face. Santa's real in my heart. Oh, grow the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry. But come on, guys. It's already basic for me to understand that they're going to highly guard the gym leader. Darn, I wanted to win. As did I. And I wanted to win more. I must be getting tired. Not really. I have psychic power, so this is actually nothing for me. Hello? Ah! Wahaha! <laughs> You betcha, dude! I'm Janine! Oh, for God's sake! You're not even trying! <laughs> He's like, alright, let me just get out of this outfit. Screw this! I'm glad you didn't mind dressing as a girl, but alright. Damn, she's that highly respected, even guys are dressing up like her to hide her identity? Damn. This fad has gone straight up viral. If you've got people trying to challenge themselves to that shit, oh my god. Could you at least not be like, ugh? This guy is right on, dang! Yeah, I guess so. Hey, dude, is my disguise cute or what, huh? God, dude, just get a sex change, be a chick already. Seems like that's what you want to be. <laughs> I'm Janine, the gym leader. No, I'm not. Gotcha, sucker! Oh, you bitch! Oh, I should have figured. So, she's the last one I can reach to the corridors of invisible walls. Gee, how am I not surprised? Like, seriously, I should have been able to figure it out by now, but I haven't. That's making me the crazy one for not realizing it already. Yeah. Whatever, I'll get to them eventually. But now, I want to take care of you. Oh, yeah, take care of Arbok, please. Oh, man, freaking Arbok, for real? God, that is one messed up cobra. I love that it has, like, a goofy face on its stomach. What's the that of the cobra design, anyway? Is that, like, to, like, lure other poke, Other Pokemon? Is that to lure other creatures into a, uh, false sense of security? They see a goofy face, they think it's friendly, before they realize the snake pounces down on them? Oh, God. I don't think I know nature. Then again, I don't think I want to. God damn. Nature's scary, dog. It's scary. I had you fooled! Yeah, fuck you! How do you distinguish our real leader? Maybe I can distinguish her by the fact that she's the only one left. 
I, see, she's the only one left! Yeah, I won't be able to figure her out. You're right. I, I can't tell which one's her. I'm never gonna figure this out. I may as well just leave and go home. Oh. Hello. Hoo hoo hoo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine abuse a gym. That's me. Oh, fuck. You know, I didn't think she'd come out so strong. Damn immature brat. All right, Janine. The other gym leaders have been tough on me. Let's see what you've got. Ooh, you got a Crobat level 36. Huh. Yeah, ow. Yeah, remember how I said this gym was probably the easiest gym? Well, that's not, maybe that's not true. The levels are low, but there's a good bit of the Pokemon, and well, if you have a grass type at, Bro at Brock's gym, Brock's probably the easiest. Still, this gym doesn't mess around, so. As long as you, oh my god, the spam number's calling me again. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I already know now. I can tell you're a spam caller, so don't leave a message. Stop calling. Sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, wait, level 33 Ariados. Are you kidding me? Bitch, yeah, you're not even trying. Like, oh my god, you don't even have anything worth my time now. You're just being obnoxious. Just stop. Just stop. And, ugh. I mean, at least you're all poison types, but, oh my god. You really need to learn for your father's tricks if this is what you're doing. Oh my god. I'm not gonna have it. Oh my... Really? Two of the same friggin' Pokemon? You don't even have a muck? Oh my god. Your dad did not teach you well. I that you rebelled against his teachings to learn on your own. Fucking dumb bitch. What made you think this was gonna work, huh? That's what I had to wonder. Well, I'm out of Psychic. That's a Venomoth. So, let's go Flame Job. Why not? Oh, level 39. There you go. See? You can do this. Still, I wouldn't recommend going out of your way to reach this gym before any of the others. Because, well, a poison type gym can still throw you off your game with all the other alter types that can be involved. The Crobat can fuck you up early if you're not careful. And, well, yeah. It's. Well, you have to do a lot just to get here. That's why I recommend just get here, do it when you get here eventually. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's Soul Badge. Take it. Sweet, thank you. And you don't even have a lot of money. You should go visit your dad sometime. Maybe he actually teach you how to be a good actual Pokemon gym leader. You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic. A powerful poison that steadily saps the victim's HP. Yay, I'll keep it for posterity. I don't need this game, but thank you. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both you, father, and you. That should be better than you and father. Don't you know how to form your grammar properly? <sighs> Why am I being a grammar Nazi? That was really unnecessary and stupid. That was a great battle, trainer from Jodo. Wow, he was like, wow, you did great, fantastic. It's not like it was the easiest battle in the world. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That's gonna treat me. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Alright, let's go battle the rest of those trainers in that route so I can get it taken care of for good. Then we make real progress next time. Oh my god, they're littered. That's battle. I won't lose. You'd think that. And you'd be horribly, horribly wrong. So let's fight, you bastard. And you have a Zatu! Yay! I was waiting for one of you. Eat the Thunder Punch! I mean, I didn't know you were coming. I just assumed you were. I don't need to use Umbreon anymore. Probably. Unless something that's a Psychic type purely comes up. Like Alakazam! Well, Umbreon, you've been summoned! I need you all of a sudden! I was a schoolboy of an Alakazam! My god! I was a little punk like this, get a freaking Alakazam! Screw you! My god! Man, I wish these trade Pokemon weren't so hard to come by by yourself. 
I get they want you to communicate with others, but come on, man. I forgot to do my homework. Completing your Pokedex is a lot of hard work. I mean, you don't have to beat the whole game by doing it, but still. So I know I just learned that in my Japanese class. Is, is that Japanese? I didn't know. I never knew that. Hang on, I have to phone my mom. All right, fine. We can battle while I phone my mom. Hey, mom! Hey, mom! I'm battling this traitor on Ra Oh God! Shut up! Don't get me involved in this. Yeah, she. Okay. Okay. She said she wants to talk to you. No! No! Go! I do not want to talk to her. No, 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 come on, come on, please talk to her. No! Don't hear me the fucking phone! Did I hear cursing, young man? Oh, God. I went too far. Good. See, now what you did. You're gonna get your ass kicked when you get home. I hope you're happy with yourself. Or did you get kicked out? Oh, little boy get kicked out of his home. What the hell am I doing? Oh, my God. I'm living a whole fucking fantasy in my head. I need to dial it back a bit. I'm losing it. Oh god, this person actually has some strong things. Oh, let's do Sludge Bomb! Oh, beautiful. Funny how friggin' Blossom can't learn Sludge Bomb. You would think that as a part of that Poison Gloom family that it could have learned Sludge Bomb, but no. Quagsire can, though, because it's ground based. I guess. I mean. I guess a creature like him could learn Sludge Bomb. It's just... I don't know, catch me a little off guard, that's all. A sludge Bomb could have been useful in other situations, but... Eh. At least I have it now. Oh, wow, look at you! You actually have a friggin' Magneton! I'm happy some of you guys are actually trying now. See, this route is nuts. Why would you go this whole friggin' route? Why? Like, well, yeah, I get why. But still, there's too much on this route. Sorry, Mom, I was beaten. You'll beat me later, okay? Oh, God. Don't worry so much about me. I have to phone her all the time. Oh, my God. That's somewhat depressing. Oh, hello, miss. On sunny days, I think that the kids would rather be playing in the schoolyard than studying in class. Are you just supervising them as they play hooky? You're just as irresponsible as they are! Alright, Hiller- Oh, God! Not gonna go down that road. Don't bring it up, don't bring it up, don't bring it up, don't bring it up. More like Hitlery. Damn it! See? Yeah, you thought I was just a blind Trump basher, didn't you? No! No! I hate all politicians. I've gone over that before. I hate all of them. They suck! God! All right, I got that out of my system. Oh. Every once in a while, I just have to get that out. Gotta get my aggression on politicians out of me. Just the blind hatred I have for them. I can't trust them, man. After the shit they've been pulling, you think I can trust anybody in that, in that whole freaking political system anymore? God, everybody's a bunch of fucking selfish babies. Oh. Can we have somebody mature in the fucking whole political system? For the love of God, I didn't want to lose. I don't just mean the White House, I mean the entire political system. We need somebody who's actually fucking cool. God damn it. Something is important, but exercise is just as vital. Also, we need people that aren't fucking like 70 years old. <sighs> and you can't tell. I do not like our poli- I do not like American politics. I really don't. It's a giant freaking sham. My favorite class is gym. I honestly believe that. They're a giant sham. <laughs> I can't help it. I hate everything about them. God. The, they made our country look so bad over the past few years. And again, I do not just mean the presidency. I just mean the entire system. Because the only reason that it can be seen as looking really bad is because there's no good counter argument. You have shitty option, less shitty option. Whatever it is, I don't fucking know at the time. You just gotta go with your gut and hope it works out. Well, because people here are too fucking stubborn to admit their mistakes and say they can be wrong sometimes, we have to deal with bullshit. Because people just can't own up to the fact they may have made a mistake. No, you have me right 100% of the time. Oh my fucking god. Oh no, I'm going down a bad path again. <sighs> if you can't tell, Politics are like one of the things I hate most in this world. Oh! 
as well. Well, we see is a good way to help people live and abide by. Always gets ruined by the greed of the ones that run the whole thing. They end up trying to force the benefits their own way, and then everybody else gets fucked one way or the other. Either the rich are forced to spend a lot of money, or the poor are basically not allowed to be able to have any chance to gain money at all. Those are usually the two options, two options it comes down to. Or they're sapping from both to help the people in the middle ground try to find their way to the upper ground, which is... I don't know. God, I do not understand politics. I hate them. Oh no, how can I lose? Because you listen to my political rant. You suck now. Oh, we're in some days, will I be the best? Clearly not better than me, apparently. Have you forgotten anything? Um... What are all these teachers doing with their students playing hooky? This is a little too much. Dude, Pokemon School will be the best. You just get to go out in the open all the time and just go out and battle people? Yo! That'd be the shit! Then again, it's probably not public school either. Meh. Oh god, please stay away from political issues. Oh god! <laughs> There's so many, I can't get them out of my head! Ah! Yeah! Was that acting? Before I became a teacher, I used to forget a lot of things. Oh, that's what that was. We're on a field trip to Lavender Radio Tower for social studies. Oh, and you guys just happen to battle as you go along the way. We left three hours early. Oh, God. Looks like one teacher is trying to overcompensate for her lack of teaching ability. By allowing everybody to go around and freaking fight! Aren't students not allowed to fight people anyway? Like seriously, this is a very bad field trip idea. Just let your students go out and beat up on whoever's running around. That's how some bad shit goes down. That's how you get the crazy shit to go down, and I don't like it. Just please, for the love of God, don't. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. Okay? Just don't. Ugh. Man, my teachers were responsible back in the day. Can't say that about teachers nowadays, as far as I know, but, well, I don't know, my teachers were legit. Then again, I'm the cynical person who just believes that a whole of society has gone to shit, mostly because of the, well, ways that social media has influenced everybody. I... Jeez. Can this world just die already? <laughs> What's the apocalypse happening?! Ugh. I'm just tired. I'm tired, tired, tired. You're wickedly tough. Yeah, and you're a wickedly stupid bitch. I'm tired of walking. I need to take a break. Oh. Damn, you guys can't even afford transportation? That's a shame. I think I'm almost done, everybody. My dream is to fly my beloved bird Pokemon. Yeah, that's uh, great. You can, you, can, you can fly wherever you want. Just, you know, get away from me. I don't want you to fly near me. Especially that stupid Fero of yours. Alright then. How about a good old ice punch Stupid birds. Oh, these bird keepers are annoying. There's so many of these birds! Just stop with the birds! I've fought too many birds! Fine. I guess that means I have to fight more birds! Damn, that bird got a lot stronger all of a sudden. Still not terribly strong, but stronger. Stupid bird. Now, can you get out of my way already? I can't dream, but I can't even fly. You can't ever fly, but you can dream of flying. I hope your dream ends with you face planting into the fucking dirt like a fool. Oh, that would be amazing. I don't believe you can get a pterodactyl. You can get a pterodactyl. An aerodactyl here. My god. We don't have a way for you to get the Pokemon Fossil Rare Dactyl anymore because we cut that out of the game. Instead, why'd you trade me for it? Trade some random girl out in the middle of nowhere. Just so I could have a freaking rock pterodactyl. My god. That bitch is hardcore. Oh my god. She is hardcore to the extreme. Whatever. Either way. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Also, why is your hair green? 
You're not Nurse Joy! Who are you? They ruined you forever! God, Nurse Joy, that character is a weirdo. Anyway, please be careful. You're swimming to sea from islands. Here's the police. Oh, God. You know, police are warning people about traveling across the waters. Good Lord. Well, this should be fun. Sounds like it'll be a good time. Cinnabar's volcano erupted. It, hur it hurled boulders that cut off Route 19 indefinitely. I wonder if the people of Cinnabar are safe. Oh, that's why you can't surf the other way. Oh, wait, no, you just can't go this way. That's right, this area's cut off. Oh, I forgot about that. Who knows how long it would take to move this boulder. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Sorry, this road's closed off for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you'd better go south from Pallet Town. Oh, I forgot you do to go from Pallet Town. But trust me, you'd rather do this later than sooner. Because trust me... Oh, boy. Well, since I don't have anywhere new to go... Just to prove a point, and since it's only one battle, I'm not too upset about it. Which means there's probably a flame job come up. It is a Wednesday, but I do have one other event thing to show off on Tuesday or Thursday. And I can do that another time. But for now, my rival is back. Hold it, you're going to take Boomerang each chance now? I think that's going to happen. If you went to a Pokemon, they're going to pound you. For those, I challenge you. I just want to prove to you he doesn't get any stronger. No matter how late you go into the game, this is the last battle you get every time. And you do this once a day, as long as it's not the same days when you battled him in uh, Mount Moon. I think you could battle him Friday. I think. Either way... I want to battle my rival again just to knock him out cold. Just to prove you, you can battle multiple days of the week. Like I said, good training. And you want to hear this awesome Champions theme again. God, I love this theme. Like, see, the music of this game is one of my favorite, like, sets of soundtracks in the series. And if you listen to the Heart Gold Soul Silver versions of the soundtrack, oh boy, the soundtrack's even better. Like, oh my god. Seriously, if you're interested in gold or silver at all, I would say get either Crystal or Virtual Console if you want a cheap option, and playing what's probably the ideal version of the uh, Pokemon Gen 2 games. If you're asking why I'm not playing Crystal, like I said, I like to go off the base version. As much as I love Crystal, because it improved even more on what this game already improved on for first gen. But if you're willing to spend the money or can find it, Heart Gold or Soul Silver are the best way for you to go. To experience what's easily the best Pokemon game to date. Easily the best Pokemon game to date. Like, for me, it's not even close. I mean, the closest thing is the original version of the game! <laughs> That's how good it is! Ah! The closest thing to how good that one is, is the game it was originally based on! Like, that's how good it is! They proved on, like, everything. And, well... Ha-ha! I got poisoned, you got paralyzed! Who's gonna walk out of this living? My guess? Me. Too bad you don't know how to use items. You're still a heartless bastard, huh? Such a shame that other Pokemon games can't follow the grand standing this one did. Because, oh boy. This one left such a great pressure on me as a child. I'll never forget it. Oh yeah, I was talking about the soundtrack. Yeah, the other game's soundtracks don't really press me. The exception of, well... Gen 5 and Gen 7 me also had really good soundtracks. Gen 3 has its moments. Gen 4 has like one or two good tracks. And, uh... Gen 6's is weird. It's hard for me to fully trust Gen 6's soundtracks. It's really strange. Fully trusted. Yeah, Gen 6's soundtrack is strange. It's not bad, but it's weird. Yeah, the music of the Pokemon games overall generally isn't bad. Ah! Oh, but as far as I'm concerned, Generations 2, 5, and 7 have the best soundtracks, in my opinion, of the Pokemon games. 
And, well, I doubt that'll change for me for a while. Yeah, good for you recovering. Hey, guess what? If I use Shadow Ball, you would have died. But I'm using a move that will automatically hit you, and you'll die. It doesn't matter what I do. You're dead. Bitch. But yeah, I don't talk about the music of games enough, but the music of this game is pretty good. Like, this soundtrack, this song, to me, is like, was the most hyped thing to me in this game as a kid. Oh my god. When I heard this track when I was in the battles, I was like, YES! YES! Oh! It's amazing, it builds up and then it's just a freaking epic, heavy pounding track. And the Heart Gold Soul Silver version, even better. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say it. I think it's better than the champion theme from Gen 4! Come eat me, bitch! Come eat me? <laughs> eat me, bitch! What the fuck am I saying right now? But yeah, I know the Gen 4 champion theme is usually the most popular, but I honestly like this one more. I think it's better. I honestly do. Can you stop shadow balling me, you bastard? Ow! Come on! Wake up! There we go. You're weak to every move I had, you pathetic sack of shit. We haven't had the other ghost Pokemon that show some of this game either. Huh. There's another unique ghost type. I would have thought a gym we would have had, but no. Okay, I lost. Thanks for the free money, by the way. Sorry, I still get win. I, I had to think more about my Pokemon. <laughs> Trying to lose. Don't worry, I won't lose it. Ow! Again, ow! Ow, why'd you poison me, you prick? Ugh. Alright. Let's heal up and fly to Pallet, and I guess we'll end this episode. I completely forgot you had to go through Pallet Town to go that way. I thought it was the other way around. But I forgot the volcano eruption made those boulders go, well, crazy, and block that road. I think once you take care of the, uh, 7th gym, I think the boulders might actually go away. I think they do eventually go away, but I don't fully remember. Hmm, you know, I could have gone to go battle, uh, Beth again. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Why not? Eh, no, it's only a friggin' Rapidash, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I love how they wore me to Red, the Red's house here. I can't rest here, by the way, I don't know why they do this for me, but okay. Either way, come back next time, and I guess we're gonna go south of Pallet Town here, and we're gonna finally make our way towards, uh, Cinnamar Island. We have the 7th gym to go to, and, well, get ready for the surf trip, because everybody loves a good old surf session. Surf in the USA. Wait, are, we're not in the US anymore, are we? We're in Canada. I meant Japan! Wow, Canada? Oh my god. I want to go where it's cold, please. Just let me live in a cold cave just so I can freeze over and forget I ever said that stupid statement. <laughs>